Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and yeah, this is another game of World of Warships that we are doing and I'm going to take you around and show you what it's like in the dashboard here. So this is your dashboard that you will see. On the left here you'll have a dockyard which is ship building phase 1 where you go and you can actually create a ship. Then you get the premium shop where you can buy stuff, an armory, then your rankings, you get combat missions that you can do, campaigns, containers, recruiting station and naval battle. The containers is when you get experience, you, open, you unlock certain types of containers and you can get different things for your ship, like exteriors and things like that. I'll show you as we go along. But these are my ships here at the bottom. This one here is a... We'll go in here and check it out. It is a battleship. So as you can see, it gives you the stats, you get survivability, artillery, AA defense, maneuverability, and concealment. So each ship will be different. So that, as I said, is a, a battleship. Then we have got a destroyer. Then we've got another battleship. Another destroyer. Another battleship. A battleship. And then a cruiser. So yeah, as you can see, I've got quite a few battleships because I prefer those to anything else but this is more or less what, what it will look like so if I go and if I click on Queen Elizabeth that's already got a skin on it and that is what it looks like so like I said as you get containers you can then go and customize your ship and however you want obviously in the premium shop you can buy things which is using real money so Unfortunately, I don't do that. I just use what I've been given. Then if you look at the top of the screen, you've got the port, equipment, exterior, tech tree, profile, and PSI. So, this is the port that we are at now. If you go to equipment, it takes you and this is everything that your ship has and you can upgrade it. So as you can see, upgrades, we have got main armament modification one. We've got engine room protection main battery modification 2 and then we have damage control system modification 2 so those things help you when you are in the game and then if you go to exterior you will see you've got camouflage signals and flags if you go to camouflage there you go you can choose what you would like for your ship so if I want to go and take that it will tell me it's black white red and the detectability range by sea is minus 3%. Dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking your ship is plus 4%. Experience per battle is 100% and free experience is plus 200%. So if I want to use that, I'll just click on it. And there you go, my ship has, has just been camouflaged. Then if you go to signals, you can actually put flags onto your, your ship. So you can see I've got 15 of these, which is November Foxtrot. And just add them to your ship and then we've got these ones here which credits per battle is plus 20 percent so we'll go and add that then you've got your flags which i've already got one which is a special piece of cake flag you can put the minister of defense of the weimar republic which is the german flag so and then you get the view of the rat so i've taken this one because i think it looks nice and then if you go to tech tree this is where you buy your ships. So, if you look in the left hand side, you've got Japan, USA, USSR, Germany, UK, France, Pan Asia, Italy, Europe, and Commonwealth. So, each one has got a battleship, a cruiser, and a destroyer, and an aircraft carrier. Some of them don't. So, if we go to Japan, you'll see battleship, cruisers, destroyers, and aircraft carrier. So, then you can buy them as you go along, but you've got to unlock. USA is exactly the same so I've got the New York battleship so if I want to get the New Mexico I need to have I'll tell you now I need to get 30,269 experience still before I can actually buy that ship so that is how you buy ships if you go to the USSR I can get these two ships but I have to buy that one first and then I can go on to the next one Germany you've also got the same thing so I don't use them. UK, I've got one of their ships. I've got the Queen Elizabeth battleship, but the same thing if I want the King George. 
I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it. No, I still need 15,113 experience to buy the ship. When you do it, it will cost me 5,695 coins to buy this battleship. So, yeah, you do get money for missions and that, which we'll get into just now. So this, so this is how the, it looks when you want to go and buy your, your ships. And then if you go to your profile, that's just everything like if you go to access level it just tells you your level your achievements this is all your achievements that you earn during in-game your ranks your collections so when you get things you get certain collections and you can add it to your profile and the summary of your profile so that is what my summary is I've played 532 battles I've won 94 percent of victories and I've earned 247 experience I've destroyed six warships and destruction ratio is 1.36 so yeah this is everything that you can do defeats I've done 31 and I've won 501 victories and I've survived 240 battles so yeah this is more or less your summary of your profile then if you go to PSI that is the clan that I am in with some other people which we don't really do because it's, it's difficult and yeah, so it's just got to load but that's where your clan is so we'll go back to the port and then when you do missions you go and you click co-op and you can choose co-op random battle raptor rescue which is the operation of the week and it tells you everything ranked battle and a clan battle so if I click on clan battle it will tell me division may only be led into a clan battle by the commander deputy commander or recruiter so unfortunately I can't do that now so I can't click battle so what we'll do is we'll go to a co-op which is fighting against bots in cooperation with other players so you'll do that and then once we have done that we can then go and say battle so once we do that it will load and then you'll see here it will tell you you are in queue for battle and it will take 30 seconds players within your range it's 5 out of 22 and then it will tell you over here how many ships are being used in the battle and it will tell you what your ship is so now we just got to wait and see what battle we're going to go to and what map we'll play because it selects a map randomly for you you cannot choose your own map so let's see what happens okay there we go it looks like we have found a map that it's going to be doing loading so we'll just wait for it to load okay there we go it's loaded into the game so over here you can choose mission and it will show you score a thousand points before the enemy team by capturing key areas and destroying your ship so you'll see there's A, B, C and D you've got B and the enemy has C so you've got to capture A, C and D in order to win and it will show you your team members so that's everybody on your team it gives you tips on how to play the game and then this is how this is how you start the game so this is your ship and as you can see all the green dots on the map is your team mates so yeah you can talk to other team members as well if you want to um, at the bottom of the screen you'll see it's got the different types of abilities that you can use in your ship at number one we've got high explosive shells Number two, we've got armor piercing shelves. And then the R button is your repair tool. Your T button is to repair your ship. And the Y button is to send out a spotter, which spots the enemy for you. So what we'll do is we'll go and, and choose the armor piercing shelves because they are much better. Um, if you put H on your keyboard, you will see your stats of your ship. So we can shoot as far as 17.1 kilometers and our secondary guns can shoot between 4 kilometers. So that's that. If you push M on your keyboard, it will bring up the map of where you're supposed to be going or what you're supposed to be doing. So what we'll do is we will click in the A circle and it will, the ship will start moving automatically because we're, it's autopilot. So we'll go back to the ship view and there you go you can see the ship has started moving and I did not have to do anything to get your ship to go by without using autopilot it's W and you'll see on the bottom left hand screen next to the ship 
circle where it shows you the guns that you've got. It will say full, 3 over 4, 1 over 2, 1 over 4, stop and full. So anything, those are that shows you forward and backward. So full means you're going full, full steam ahead and full underneath stop is to go backwards. So that is how it goes and that you use for your W and S keys. To turn you use your A and your D keys and yeah that's basically how to maneuver your ship but you can use autopilot as you can see in front of us over there is a red symbol which is an enemy ship so once your guns are green you are able to to shoot them so as you can see there he is there so I'm going to try and shoot it here and let's see if it works I have then sent out there's my, my bullets as you can see it might miss because it was too far in front of me so and as you can see people also start hitting you as well so the whole object of the game is to try and destroy your enemies you can however try out maneuver them but with the battleship a battleship is a lot slower so but it they do do a lot of damage which that's why I feel they are the best ships to use but it all depends on what, sh what you guys prefer so as you can see if you zoom in with the mouse wheel it shows you there and if I go and click it like that it might just hit the ship so we'll, we'll have to see how it goes so let us see is it gonna hit and no it doesn't hit so you've got to try and see whereabouts you're gonna aim to hit I have shot one aircraft down so yeah and they've looks like taken out one of my guns so I'll push Y and I'm going to set out the spotter and there you go he's gone that way there my guns are ready again so I'm going to put it over here and is it going to hit this time no it doesn't look like it as you can see they are hitting me and my health is going down I forgot to mention that the ship icon on the left hand side of the screen it will show, tell you what your ship is and it will give you the health of your ship so now I've got my guns 3 and 4 already so what we'll do is we'll do that and we'll wait for 1 and 2 then I'll sh fire with all of them so we'll go here and let's fire with all my guns and we'll see if any of them hit ok we've had a, a positive hit on that and it will tell you what type of hit you have on the ship and that is a battleship that we are after so as you can see they are hitting me so I push T and it will start repairing my ship so you only get a certain amount of abilities from that ok so as you can see now the, the ship is coming to a stop because we have reached our destination so we'll just go a little bit slower and we are going to now try and fire again at the enemy ship to try and destroy him so there we go ok so we managed to take out one of his guns So let us see, we're gonna try and see if we can take this guy out. And there's a guy in front of me. So I'm just gonna, now you can see the ship is on fire, so I'll push R. And it will automatically repair the ship. Okay, so let's do this again. As you can see, I've destroyed a... I have destroyed him, so now we can carry on with the next ship. And if you ram into an enemy ship, you will get destroyed. Especially a battleship, because they they are a lot more powerful. As you can see there now, what it's doing to me, so it's not that great. But he's almost damaged, so that shouldn't be a problem. Because we might be able to take him out, so let's see if we can. Oh, he's been destroyed already. Yeah, it looks like he's been destroyed already, and we've got two ships left. So we have now got to go and try and find where those other ships are. So let's go speed ahead, and we'll start hunting them down.
and there is one ship left so what we'll do is while the ship is busy turning we'll try and find out where we have to go and it looks like they're gonna be down here somewhere or he might be up there so what we'll do is we'll go to C for now so we can go and capture that and as you can see we captured site A so that is a good thing yeah and the enemy ship he is at the top over here if you look at your map at the bottom right hand screen is a little gray gray kind of ship there that means that that's where the enemy ship is so what we'll do is we'll just wait now and autopilot there because there's nothing to shoot our AA guns will shoot all the airplanes as you can see there is the guy in front of us there so we will be able to shoot him because he is 11 k's away from us so I'll aim a little bit in front of him because it will be able to be easy for me to hit him and as you can see I did hit him but it didn't do much damage so what we'll do is we'll just wait and try and take him out and we've got three battleships on our team and one aircraft carrier that's left so let's just hope we can win this round by looks of things we should be able to win it because this this guy's health is already on half so what we'll do is we'll shoot again hopefully it's gonna hit him and we have hit him so when you do this it's just a bit tricky because you've got to try and judge Obviously the ship is moving so you've got to try and judge how quickly it's going and we're about to shoot your, your guns or else it's not going to work. Some, some ships do have torpedoes which make it very easy to, to use and let's see if it's going to hit him again. Yes it does not as good so we'll wait for him to let's turn our ship around so our other guns can hit him and let's see maybe we can do and as you can see he's been destroyed so that is how the game works and I'll show you now about the experience and everything so here you go as you can see we got the victory all enemy warships were destroyed I received 500 and 59,769 coins, 1,573 experience plus special experience which is 749, my battle performance damage I did was 37,409, I hit 18 targets, I shot 17 aircraft down, I destroyed one of his guns, destroyed the enemy ship, I defended the base one time, I captured two times, I hit 29 targets and I spotted one. As you can see here, combat missions, like I was explaining to you earlier in the port, you earn base experience, which is now complete. See, one battle earned 250 base experience. And now, that's the rewards that you get when you complete that. Everyone's different, like he has a daily mission, I've got to complete six missions and I'll get those rewards. So each one is different. So, yeah, so now what we'll do is we'll say back to the port, and it will take us back to where our main ship is. So as you can see, there we are back in the ship and now you can see I need 427 experience to get a container so that is how that works and it looks like I've been given an aircraft carrier for, for a few days so from the premium shop they have given me oh no it's a battleship and it's from France so they do every now and then give you ships that you can try out and everything so yeah that's what it looks like you can also depending on where you want to be change your port so um, if you click on your port at the top here it will give you a list of different ports that you can go to I like to be in London so that's yeah, where we like to keep our port but obviously if you choose New York and you say safe changes your whole background will change where your ship is sitting so while we're waiting for the port to load we'll just see ok so there you go so now we are in New York. So there's the New York city behind you, and there's your ship. And there's the, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's, no, it's not the Golden Gate Bridge. But still, this there's the Statue of Liberty in the background over there. But yeah, so you can, however, change your your 
support if you want to depending on where and what looks nice to you so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed watching me play that game and do a mission and that to explain to you how it works so this is just something yeah it's to have fun with and if you want to see more of this content please comment in the section below give this video a big thumbs up um we'd also like you to subscribe and hit the notification bell and please tell all your friends and family about us we would love to have you part of our uh, channel's family and we look forward to look forward to having you guys on our channel so keep safe guys and keep well and we'll chat to you in our next video cheerio all